Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to simulate some of the chaos engineering okay. concepts used by Netflix, referred to as the Simian Army, programmatically using Python. The Simian Army is a set of tools and techniques that Netflix uses to test the resilience of its systems to random failures. Chaos Monkey is one of the most well-known tools in the Simian Army. So, what is Chaos Monkey? Chaos Monkey is a tool invented by Netflix in 2011 based on the concept of chaos engineering to test the resilience of its infrastructure. It works by intentionally disabling virtual machine instances and containers in Netflix production network to test how the remaining systems respond to the outage. The Simeon Army is an extension of this idea to test various kinds of failures or to discover new uh, abnormal conditions. So what is chaos engineering? Chaos engineering is a discipline of experimenting on distributed systems in order to build confidence in their ability to withstand production failures. The harder it is to disrupt the steady state, the more confidence we have in the behavior of the system. The steady state is defined by a set of metrics like throughput, error rates, latency percentiles and so on. The chaos engineers find weaknesses to improve before it manifests as customer pain. Chaos Monkey can be a complex tool. So for us to understand, it is easier for us to start by implementing a very simplified version of it in a, a programming language that we are already comfortable. In this video, we will try to simulate Chaos Monkey and the Dr. Monkey. So, Dr. Monkey is meant to check on the health status of each uh, instance in the system. So, we will try to uh, simulate these two in Python in a very simplified version to understand the concepts of chaos engineering. Okay, we will now try out the concepts of chaos monkey and Dr. Monkey using Python. So, I have this online IDE open and I have two files, simulate chaos and simulate Dr. Monkey. In the simulate chaos file, I have written a function that has multiple uh, if conditions. So we are going to be using the random random module and the time module. The time module will be used to uh, pause the program for a certain duration and the random module will be used to generate random numbers. So here in the first if, if condition, I, I am generating a random number between 0 and 1 and if it's less than 0.2 then I'm printing chaos monkey simulating failure in in the ideal testing scenario you would probably write some function here uh, that will terminate an instance or you know shut down tasks uh, randomly since I do not have any of those um, features here I'm just uh, creating the if condition in the second if condition I am introducing latency that is and generating a random number and if it's greater than 0.8 then you put the program to sleep for certain number of seconds that is also randomly generated okay now let's run this code python 3 We are going to try running the code until we run into a random number that fits either this condition or this condition. So here you can see that we have generated a random number greater than 0.8. So it has uh, gone into this if condition and introduced a latency. So this is an, a very simplified version of what uh, the chaos monkey does. Of course, there are other uh, conditions that you can try, other functions that you can, other changes that you can make to your um, system to see how the chaos monkey works. But now for now, we will restrict it to these two if conditions. Next, I have this file called Dr. Monkey, which will check for the health 
of this um, replet site. Here I've written a simulate doctor function, which will again use the random fun random number generator module to see if you generate a number less than 0.5, then you check for the uh, health of this site. And if you get status 200, okay, then you print everything is fine. So in this video, we have seen what is what is the simian so-called simian army of Netflix and how it uses the concept of chaos engineering and how we can understand it by trying to simulate it in a very simplified uh, format in Python. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, please let me know. Thank you.